Hey guys, Olajide here from Private Labs Audio. I'm here to um, demonstrate our new library. This is Scream, Aleatoric Effects for Native Instruments Contact. And this does require the full retail version of Contact. Um, will not play in the free Contact player. This library was recorded at the Georgian Film Studio in Belize, Georgia, 300 square meter um, scoring stage, which was purpose built for orchestra, so it's got a really great sound in there. Um, some of our patches are DECA only, some are going to have multi mics. I'm just going to jump right in. We have this organized into four sessions from four folders. The first one is string effects. And I'll just kind of navigate you through the GUI. In the center here, we have the sample offset button, or knob rather, which will allow you to adjust the start time of samples. Below, we have the convolution mix dry wet, and then envelope controls for attack and release. So the first session, I'm sorry, the first patch here is atonal glisses down long. And one very cool feature of this of the update of updated version of this library is that we now have tempo synced patches. So anything with the TS means tempo synced and it will um, sync to the speed of your DAW. So you can hear the difference. Next up, atonal one shots round robin. This is another atonal one shots um, patch. This one's not round robin, and it's completely different samples than the last patch. And using the sample offset, you can kind of get in there and get a little tighter of a sound, maybe take the convolution back a bit. Yeah, a little less. Moving on, Chaos Gliss Downs Long Trim Soupants. And a patch like this where it's like a really long performance is a really great example of how the sample offset can be used to create kind of new new versions. I'm going to adjust the attack. Then the same thing, but the tempo synced version of that. No need to go through that. Here's Chaos Gliss Down Long Trim. So we've got a large amount of those, about two dozen of those that, that you can play through. Tempo sync version of that and Chaos Gliss up long. Now these are great with the offset because then you can basically create some rips. And if you use the tempo sync version, even better, right? So you essentially have some tempo synced rips built right in there. Um, Chaos Gliss up trim soul punt. Tempo sync version and chaos gliss up trim. So the same thing, but no soul punt. And again, messing with the uh, offset button there, you kind of get some really cool stabs. Chaos trills for TCMO. We basically had the players play random trills. This is what that sounds like. And these are really long performances, so if you wanted to make that shorter, you're going to have to dig in pretty far with the offset button to, to make that shorter because they're about 30 seconds long each. Um, same thing, but Pianissimo and Mezzo Forte. And Chaos Drill Soul Pont Fortissimo. So anything that says mod, that's a mod wheel patch, and so it will respond to the mod wheel on your um, keyboard. I don't have one on this computer. On, um, I'm actually just clicking here in contact, as you can see on the, the keyboard, the virtual keyboard. But if you did have a mod wheel, you'd be able to, to um, ride this volume knob here. Same thing with tempo synced. 
Um, here's Random Chaos Sulpont. We basically had the players play whatever the heck they wanted to, and um, this is what we came up with. And using the sample offset, you can dig into various parts of the performance and kind of to your own taste. Here we are, uh, this is the, that's the tempo sync version of that patch, and now we have scratches. Really eerie kind of disturbing texture that, that's a really good um, thing you can add into your horror and soundtracks that are meant to make people feel very disturbed, probably the way the players felt recording this stuff. <laughs> so um, next we have scratches pianissimo. Again, this response to mod wheel. I don't have one, but we'll work with the mod wheel. And how far down are we in this? Ah, okay. Then we have the same thing, Sulpont, basically. So that's a good candidate for the offset, right? So that brings us to the end of session one. Moving on to session two. Start here. Session two. Chaos textures. Yes, really replace. That's fine. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is in sessions two and three, in addition to the offset and convolution features, we have also, um, in the envelope control, excuse me, we have a mic mixer. So these were captured um, multi mic, and we have spot, deca, and mid options. <laughs> So that's a mix. I'm going to give you just the spot. And let me turn the convolution off for a second. Here's the deca. And that really gives you a sense of the of the room. But by the way, if I adjust the release time, you're going to get a Well, you probably don't want to do it that way, but that's an example of how you can use a release. Um, here's the mid mics. And again, the mix of all of them together. And on something like this, the, the offset is going to be really useful because these performances are so long that you know you probably are not going to want to play through the whole thing. And if we go to the tempo sync version of this, for example, let's see if we can create a stab. So by using the offset feature, you can see you can really get some additional use out of this library, particularly with the longer patches that have these really cool endings. You basically get a, set, a whole set of rips uh, patches in addition to the, the, um, the main patch. And using the snapshot feature here in Contact, um, if you know how to do that, you can create your own sub patches with the different offset and convolution and mic mix, mix settings. Um, so now I'm going to load up the risers patch. I'm going to load up the... the tempo sync version of that. So we have lots and lots of risers here. I'm not going to play through all of them because there's dozens of them. And these ones again are very, very long. So again, using the offset feature. You can kind of make these fit whatever context you're working in, whether you need a, like a really, really fast riser or you need a medium length one that will go over several bars, um, or you just maybe you do really want a really long riser that kind of plays indefinitely and you're trying to build your own um, custom risers and things like that. Uh, moving on, so that's session two. Moving on to session three. Here we go. 
I'm using Reaper today, by the way. I usually would be doing this in Cubase, but I'm away from home, and for creating the screencast, Reaper was actually a better op option than uh, Cubase Elements, which I've been working in without my e-licensor. Okay, so um, brass risers. So again, we have this is a multi-mic um, session. So we have spot, deca, and mid, and here are some risers with the brass. Uh, why don't I load up the tempo sequence version? Uh, I'll probably be better. So really, really long. You're probably going to want to use some offset in these. Okay. Orchestral risers. So these are strings, brass, and winds together. We have got about... All right, well, exactly, you know... Excuse me. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of these. Black keys are not mapped, so it's only white keys. And again, these are really long, so they benefit from using the offset, but I'll just kind of play one through so you get an idea. And tempo sync version of that. Fantastic. Moving on, string riser short. So just load up the tempo sync version. Okay, maybe short is not the best description. Those are more like medium, but they can be made short using the offset button. And you can again create rips by moving that even further forward to the right. Whoops, a little bit too much. So there you go, the, another version of Tempo Sync Rips that you can adjust the mix on. Maybe you want those much more close. Maybe you don't want any convolution reverb. You can dial in your own reverb if you want. Um, next, we have String Riser Soft. These are kind of cool because these go from like a pianissimo to mezzo forte or forte at max instead of fortissimo. So there you go, we have uh, several of those that you can play through, and that is it for session three. So I'm gonna move on to the last session, the last folder, which is session four, and that is the brass. So I'm gonna load up the brass risers tempo sync. And again, whoops, sorry, that's the wrong folder. Brass Clusters Tempo Sync would be the first patch of... Actually, you don't need a Tempo Sync version of that. These are just clusters. As you'll see, there's no real reason to have a Tempo Sync patch. I did one just because. Feel free to ignore it. But this is a Mod Wheel patch, so um, the Mod Wheel will trigger the volume here, so you can kind of ride that as you see fit. These are, you know, basically had the players play random notes and fortissimo and sustain them as long as possible. So um, if you want to experiment with the offset to make these spe fit a specific length and adjust the attack settings as well, you can create some kind of cool pad effects that way. Moving on, brass random trills, uh, trills excuse me, fortissimo, this is again a mod wheel patch. Very similar, well, in fact, the exact same thing as the strings patch. Um, the tempo sync version of these may come in handy. And again, using the offset, you can kind of create your own stingers and things like that. Probably dial in a little more convolution there. Um, now here's the same thing, but pianissimo, or sorry, piano rather than um, fortissimo. I don't really know that brass 
players know the meaning of pianissimo. They barely know the meaning of piano. Uh, but anyway, these are quieter versions of the uh, random trills. And we have some brass risers of a couple of different lengths, by the way. So you'll see this white area between the two, um, you know, mapped areas. And that's just so that you can see that we have shorter ones here. Or maybe I got that backwards. We have longer ones and shorter ones. Slightly shorter anyway, but using the offset button again, which is more useful in the tempo synced version of this, but even create some rips. There we go, great. Um, moving on, trill risers fortissimo. So with these, we basically had the brass play riser, but we had them do it using a trill. So here's what that sounds like. If I load up the tempo synced version of this and use some offset, you, 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 at this point you already see where I'm getting at. I'm trying to create a stinger here. Now keep in mind the offset is not going to be as effective in all patches. Um, so you're just going to have to kind of experiment and see what you can make out of it. Also feel free to use the envelope settings as well. Ah, so that was the magic um, ingredient there in, in getting that to work. So, yeah, Trill Risers, Fortissimo. And the last patch in session four is Trill Risers, Piano. And it's not really a riser in the sense that it doesn't have as much of a dynamic arc as you typically would expect in a riser, but... Um, there's still dynamic there, so I just I decided to call that a riser. If we dial up the tempo sync version of that, and again, if we just wanted to get into the trill part of that, so that is the library in a nutshell. A really big nutshell but a nutshell nevertheless I really hope you guys enjoy it I had a lot of fun um, working on this this is my second commercial release through private labs we have many many more to come we hope and at the very least a follow-up to this which I'll be announcing soon um, if you have any questions write me on VI find me on Facebook I'm happy to answer all of your questions and thanks to everybody who helped and, you know, bring this to life and really, really looking forward to hearing your feedback on that. So I'm out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.